lady. I have got some bulbs that I want to plant, but I have some containers that were given to me by a friend. Aren't they just stunning? So obviously I can't just throw soil in here and I need to get these bulbs in the ground. I'm a little late, but I'm going to go ahead and plant them and see how much growth and glory I get. But I want to show you what I'm doing here first. I have some planters tarp that I've cut in a nice circle that I'm going to line each of these containers with. And then I'm going to fill them with soil and my bulbs so that I can place them wherever I want them. Okay, so I have my soil here. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. It's a nice loamy soil. I actually even thought of maybe adding a little sand just to make sure that it didn't get too compact. But as I look at this soil, I think it's probably a great mix. I put lots of peat moss in here. And I think I showed you my post about old and new soils. What you need to make sure that you do when you're planting your bulbs is read the directions for bulb depth. And this one says to make sure that they are planted a good five inches deep. And that's very important. And the instructions on your bags are so valuable. And if you don't find that the instructions that you have give you enough detail, go ahead and go online and look them up. I'm planting a collection of daffodils. I'll be excited to see how they show up. I'm going to keep filling up my container here, making sure that I have plenty of room for my bulb. And I'm leaving enough room for when I water so that that water is not going to spill all over my location. Okay, well here are all my bulbs. And many times they'll say plant 12 inches apart or so many inches apart. But you know what? Go ahead and put those bulbs together because they give their best show when they're nicely, uh, a, a good show of color. I'm going to put these way in the base of my container. And of course, let me show you this. It's not too hard to figure out which end is correct. We have our roots. Go ahead and get those roots down in there. They're going to be very close together. I've seen gardeners just put a whole big clump of them together. Again, that's when you get your best show. Okay, I'm going to show you my next planting. I want to add tulips to my container. And on the cover it says, excellent for cut flowers, ideal for mass plantings. So, I'm going to go ahead and, of course, my directions, which are so important to follow, is to plant five inches deep. And, of course, you need to put this, the root side down. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put them all very closely together because that um, bright burst of flowers is so nice. Many times I see people plant one tulip here, one tulip there, and you just have a straggling of color. Go ahead and get those all together. I can't wait to see how this container is going to turn out. And I may even put a few of my little paper whites in there just to have a nice little contrast of color. But as you see, I'm making sure that they're down in there a good five inches. And also, when you get your bulbs, give them a little squeeze if they feel soft or they even have a scent of perhaps being uh, rotten. Don't use that bulb. You want a nice firm bulb. Let's put all those in there. They'll just be great. I may even add a little more soil to this so I can get the rest of these in there. All right, let's get a few. I have a couple little paperweights over here. See how tiny these are? Oh my goodness. This one's begun to sprout, so he's ready to be planted as well. So I have all my bulbs in my container. It is ready to go. I made sure there was plenty of soil because it said it needs to be um, potted at least five inches deep. I'm going to water it in thoroughly, and I may put just the slightest wash of fertilizer over it. Now, I did have my planter's tarp in here, and uh, some may be thinking, but goodness, you can still see that. Well, as my tulips begin to grow, they will completely cover, and you won't even know it's there. So this is Gretchen the Green Lady. Say, get out there, be adventurous, and go green. <music>
All right, so I have my bulbs 